Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with the Get Ready With Me, and I'm gonna be using some favorites that I just had in another video, and I'm also gonna add to that because I have a lot of kind of tried and true favorites that I wanna put back in front of you. And I'm just gonna jump right into this. Um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna start with a color corrector, and I heard about this one on Ellis for Living. It's the Pixie by Petra, and I love the color of it. This is a very emollient. Um, so I use this mixed with my Mac that I love. This is the Studio Fix, the Studio Finish. So I'm going to mix my Mac with my Pixie by Petra, but if you like a really emollient, your under eyes are really dry, I think you would love the Pixie by Petra. And I'm just gonna use this Real Techniques brush and I dip into here and then I dip into my Mac. But, you know, you might like just this on its own. Okay, and then my next favorite on that last video was the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Finish Multi-Use Concealer. One of you girls told me about this, and this is excellent. It is very good full coverage. So if you want your foundation to have extra help or just for the under eyes, this is great. It's got a nice fat doe foot and um, it's just beautiful. And, and I have this in 2.1 and it's a very fair. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna use that on my dark circles. And okay, and then I'm gonna come down through the middle of my face and up here. That is such a nice cover through shadows. Okay, then I'm getting my little cheeky beauty blender and going over my under eye area. <sighs> that is the best cover. I love it. This is what I had wished the Dior was. That multi-use concealer from Dior just fell flat to me because it was more of a foundation and I don't want a little foundation in a bottle this size. I want a concealer that's full enough cover to help, you know, my foundation, if that makes sense. Okay, then for foundation, I have two tried and, tr tried and true foundations that I'm loving. And the first one is the Tarte Amazonian. This is an oldie but a goodie, and I <laughs> love this so much. It's a matte finish, a very full cover, kind of between a cream and a liquid. It's almost a cream, it's so thick. I really love this. Um, I am also loving, kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum, the Found Sealer by Tarte. These are both by Tarte. <laughs> They're both by Tarte. The Found Sealer. These are amazing. How I've been loving using these is the Found Sealer all over because it's a good full cover, but it is luminous. It's a beautiful luminous finish. It's got the little pump like that. Click it to lock it. And then I like to use this one all over and this one through my T-zone so it stays all day. I love that combination. Um, but I can wear either one of these alone too. So if you don't want to splurge and don't have both of these, one of them would work fine. If you want Illuminous, get the Found Sealer. If you want Matte, the Tarte Amazonian. They're both beautiful, good full covers. And I'm putting this on with my fingers and then I bounce it out with a beauty blender. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the Amazonian and go through my T-zone. I will tell you, I've been doing that in the hotter weather. Now that it's gonna be colder, I may not be using the Amazonian as much because it's drier. But during the summer when, you know, my face would get slicker, this is great through the T-zone, but I love it. It just adds kind of just a little bit of extra. Yeah, just right here on the T-zone. 
you can't be afraid of a good cover to do this. Okay, then I don't have any setting powders in my favorites. I'm going to use my tried and trues, my Huda Beauty for under the eyes, and my Derma Blend for all over my face. And I will be back. Okay, my next favorite on that last on that last video was these blushes by Juicy Pang, and I'm going to use one of these today. My favorite is probably the grapefruit. I love that, but I also really am partial to the persimmon. Yesterday, I used the raspberry. That's really pretty, and the peach. I love them all, so I'm going to use... This probably goes with my shirt vest, but I think I'm gonna use the grapefruit. Yeah, that'll be all right. Okay, and it comes in a little, looks like a nail polish. Um, and I was kind of afraid it was gonna be too thin. I just dot it on. Takes about that much. And I'm getting my IT airbrush and just bouncing that in. Okay, then after I put that on, I'm going to bounce over that with a beauty blender. And then whatever cream blush I use, I always put a powder over it. And the one that I'm using up and loving is the Charlotte Tilbury Love Glow. And this is perfect over any cream blush because it's so subtle. It is really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get my Real Techniques blush brush. And then I'm just gonna go over that. And it's just a beautiful soft color that kind of seals that cream blush. And will be lasting all day long. Okay, and then instead of using a bronzer today, I'm just gonna go over my whole face with my blush. I will tell you though, I am still loving, well I'll use this because I'm still loving it, the Givenchy Tint, Tint Couture Healthy Glow Powder in the number three. The reason I think I love this is because it's a gelée formula, one of you girls told me that. So it's not powdery at all and it honestly is the smoothest bronzer I have. It's just natural, look at that, I went in there really good on the number three, really good in there. And then I get such a natural glow. I like to go over the blush with a bronzer because it kind of tones down that brightness, that bright red. I love, love this face products, love them. Okay, I'm gonna go put on some mascara primer to get ready to do my eyes. And a couple of months ago, I had used this Clinique primer that one of you girls told me about. I love it. I have to work harder to get this on than my Essence, and it's pricier. I'm gonna replace this though. I love to put the Essence on to get a good head start, and then to use this Clinique over it, because it kinda separates my eyelashes better than my Essence does. So I find myself picking this up all the time. It will replace it. I'm almost out of it and I love it. I could just use this, but again, it takes longer to build up than my Essence. But I love the flexibility that my lashes keep with it and it just separates them a little bit better. Again, you don't need both of these. You could use just the Essence or just this, but together, they are pretty perfect. So I'm gonna go do a coat of my eyelashes. All right, so I used my primer and loved it. And I used my Essence Sculpted Volume for mascara and I did a layer of my mascara. For lips, I will list this all down below, a Milani liner and MAC Bism Friend that's always a favorite. This is my If I Can Only Have One. And then for eyeshadow, in my favorites, I have the Natasha Denona Glam. I'm not using this today. I will use this in next month's Get Ready With Me. Today, I'm going to use a combo that I am loving. And a girl over on Instagram, one of my girls, requested that I do this on a Get Ready With Me. So this is what I'm using. And it's the Naked 3, which is very pastel and beautiful. I love that. And I'm going to also use with that 
the Urban Decay Smoky. And I'm going to try to find this and link it, but if I can't find it, any gray neutral palette. Because those together are just doing it for me. I love these together. But the Naked 3, really with any gray kind of smoky wintry color how beautiful is that okay so i'm gonna start with my eyeliner and i want to show you something i'm doing that i'm loving it's really helping me i'm starting with my lower lash line and this is just the prestige in black brown and then just on this outer i'm starting down here real light and winging it out like that. So my eye already has just a great start with that outer V. Okay, and that makes it so much easier. And then I'm going to do my top lash line with my Rimmel in black. And I'm pressing into the lashes and keeping it really thin. Thin and soft. I'm going over it real soft. Okay, then out here, I'm meeting that, and it makes just a little wing so easy. So then, even before I've started my eyeshadow, I've shaped my eye already. So I'm going to do the other side. And this is my more headed eye, so I'm real careful to go so thin with my liner. Really pressing into the lash line. And then out here, just meeting, just meeting that outer, that lower liner. Now we're gonna go into the eyeshadow. And I'm going to start with my Naked 3 palette. And I'm doing my transition with that one. And that is Limit, I think it says. Following the orbital bone around. Okay, and you can see now that I have that transition on, it already looks like I've started my outer V. That is just makes it so easy. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, then I'm gonna darken up a little bit with that one. That is, I think, Mooner? Nooner. Okay, so I'm gonna deepen up a little bit just in the crease with that. I'm having a hard time seeing the names. I think um, I got my prescription wrong on my Monovision contacts. I'm gonna have to get him to change that strength. Now I'm gonna go into this palette and I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna add a little bit of the gray with that one, that one, the matte. And that is Password. Just add a little bit of gray to it. I love gray in the wintertime, it's so icy and pretty. But I can't go too gray. If I go too great, it does not look good on me. Just add a little bit over there, there. Just a little bit of gray to that. Get to the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna just richen up out here a little bit, going back into this smoky with this brown. And that, to me, looks like a little bit warmer of a brown. It may be cool, but I like it with this look just on this outer. Okay, doing the other side. Okay, I'm gonna blend, blend this out a little bit with one of my Wayne Goss. This is the 17. Okay, and then my last step is always my eyelid, and I start with the Milk Jumbo stick, the NYX Jumbo stick in milk, and I'm going to make my eyelids more prevalent. 
This is why I put my eyeliner on first, because if I accidentally got it too thick, I can thin it out with this, which I didn't today, but if I did, I'd go over it with a little bit of this and bring my eyelid back. And you can see, this is my, oh no, that's my good eye. Hold on, we'll do my bad eye. It's more hooded, I shouldn't call it bad. So I'll be sure I get it up, you know, far enough. And you can see that I am, and I'm kind of going over that eyeliner a little bit. There. Okay, then I always blend that out with a Morphe M506. Yeah, 506. It's shaped like that. A little bit. Okay, then for the eyelid, y'all, I have so many I could choose from. On this palette, I could do either one of those down here. Both of those. I could do really, really white, or that color is just perfection. It's Or in this one, you know, either one of those down here. So I could pick from either palette. Um, I think I'm going to pick from this one because I know you can get your hands on this one. So I'm just going to use this lightest color down here. I want you to be able to see. Yeah, and I just make it really light to make a really good eyelid. And then go smooth up this corner over here. And you may not have to come as far in over here as I do. I like to shade that hooding to kind of make it recede. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, and then my last thing I want to put in here as a favorite is the Chantecaille Blurring Powder. And we're going to go over all of this and buff it in with this Chantecaille Blurring Powder. Y'all, this is beautiful. And it's titled, or it's named correctly. It is a beautiful blur when I use this to finish. So we're going to use this today, and I'll use my little hourglass brush. And yeah, this is just a beautiful finish. It just blurs everything out beautifully. Yeah, you can see already. It's really nice. It's a little bit pricey, and I don't really know. It, you don't really have to spend this much. You really don't have to spend this much, um, but I do like it. I do like it. So if you like Chantecaille, and you don't mind that splurge, this is a good one. So anyway, those are my makeup favorites for this month, and um, I really love them. Y'all definitely let us know down below anything that y'all are loving, and I think that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.